today actually i am going to explain some thing on data frame a special command called sample okay what is the purpose of the samples through one program i am going to demonstrate this one so you can see at the very beginning selects one row randomly using sample okay so it is not on us okay so anything any row can be chosen randomly by whenever you are using the sample command fine so now first of all we need to import the package pandas spd that as usual whenever we are creating uh, we are using the uh, pandas uh, function or something like that okay and then data means this is the dictionary that we are defining in order to convert it into uh, data frame so here we are converting the dictionary into data frame and now what we will do here we will use the several types of the um, uh, that uh, um, sample command fine so now df equals to pd dot data frame data what does it do it actually converts this dictionary into data frame fine so after conversion this one then we will apply those commands so now for sim simply uh, simply what we are doing we are just giving out here df dot sample what does it do i have written it in the documentation okay so you will be able to understand so we have we have not given uh, we have not given uh, any parameter out here parameter means within the parenthesis if we are giving some attribute that is actually known as a parameter fine so now we have not given any parameter out here so without parameter this one is okay so select a row randomly what it does it will just select a row randomly and it will be displayed so it is not on our hand okay so whatever the uh, whatever sample will decide at that point of time it will be randomly uh, picked up from the data frame fine all right so now here the similar command have been used by using df dot sample n equals to 2 to select the given number of rows randomly okay that means what whatever number she will give suppose two records you have given no that many number of records will be picked up by this um, sample okay randomly okay so not fixed at all okay and what does it do fraction this is another attribute fraction equals to 0.7 means 70 percent rows randomly if you give 0.5 then it will be 50 percent rows all right so in this way actually um, this particular thing will be um, uh, taken but this also will be taken randomly okay so 70 percent of the record that means out of six records there are six different records can be created with this one with this data frame and then out of this 60 percent uh, 70 percent if you do of six that will come around 4.2 so that means four records will be displaced because records could not be displayed in fraction all right that is the thing so now i am executing this program and just you see its execution then you will be able to verify the output along with this okay so that is the thing so now uh, you see out here this particular data frame is actually this program actually is demonstrating uh, the sample command along with its attribute what is that what are the attributes one is the number of records that is the n okay and uh, what else uh, and the fraction frac frac okay so these are the two parameters that have been used out here so i'm just shifting this one a bit okay so you can uh, see it you can uh, we can just verify it as it will appear fine so dictionary uh, from um, data frame from a dictionary you have already learned now you see i have given the here the i have segregated i have separated the outputs and also first of all the fifth uh, one has been taken fifth row has been taken um, as the uh, this thing from the data frame it means like fifth record because there are sixth records so six records are there zero one two three four five so the record is having the index five that has been taken so that is the last record i think the wb has been taken okay so and then afterwards two records the first uh, uh, second and first uh, sorry uh, second and third record that is the one two because data frame starts with zero so the first record will have the index zero and one two has been uh, taken okay randomly okay so it if you are running for the executing for the second time it may differ it may differ okay so now here uh, we have taken four records okay so fraction 0.70 uh, percent means out of six records 70 percent records will be displayed not all so here also the same thing will happen so all uh, the four records has been taken but they have been taken randomly okay so that is the thing so i am not saying that it will not come serially it may come serially if the random sequence is like that okay but in this case it has taken in this way zero then five zero then the first record then the last record then the second record and then the third record in this way it has been taken let us execute it once more and let's so we can find out some defi de defi uh, find out some difference within that one not it may be or it may not be because we are using the sample command so here you can just remember for a while so which are the things that you have seen okay five one two and zero five two one that is the order that we have seen now we are going to do it execute it for the second time fine so now let us see now uh, what is wh what is actually going to come so here i have not uh, 
printed the data frame separately if it requires then i will do definitely but i, I don't think so it is required okay so, so i have not done it okay so just i have given the sample command along with this if you want you can print the data frame and you can verify it further all right that is the thing so these particular comments are very very important for your um, exam or for your um, uh, find findings okay how could you manipulate data actually this is a part of data science as i had told you earlier okay so this data science means like that uh, this um, this uh, you, you have to work on the data manipulation on this you see here now this was a previously it was 5 and then 1 2 now 3 1 has been taken and 1 3 4 5 has been taken fine so this this actually varies okay so since the data has been chosen randomly since the data has been taken randomly that is the way that is the thing actually all right so this is the functioning of the sample command okay which can which can choose um, uh, choose the records or the data randomly and it can display it it is having the number of record this is the first attribute and second attribute is frac uh, fraction all right some more attributes are also there we will later we will be get accustomed to we do that okay now let us come to see another program so also, uh, once uh, that is the random number okay random number functions okay um, uh, what is that things the here also the randomly the numbers will be generated understood so what is happening out here so i have taken one numpy class out here why numpy class because the numpy class is very much required out here otherwise what will happen this um, random command we will not be able to uh, use okay so np is the numpy class that um, alias okay and then random is another subclass under it and randint is the function here it has been taken the starting and ending okay from where to where and the size is five Four, uh, 5 comma 4 means row column means like there will be 5 rows that means number of 5 rows where the numbers that are being generating randomly will be displayed and then 4 means there will be 4 columns ok there will be um, uh, there will be 4 columns and 5 records and index is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th so instead of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 it will come as 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and the columns are having A, B, C, D so that's why the columns are having 4 ok column attribute is 4 row attribute is 5 ok and the index also has been taken in the same manner ok so this is the way alright so now I have given the range within 50 to 90 so the random numbers will be generated within 50 and 90 ok so there will be um, nothing nothing else to do ok so it may happen that one number may generate twice or thrice like that it may happen but here also the same thing there is no fixed output will come every time ok so every time you execute the number may vary ok that is the thing but the range will not be violated range will be only under 50 to 90 ok so I'm just what I'm doing I'm just executing the module ok I'm just executing the module and uh, let's see now what will be the outcome of this particular program ok and whenever you are giving the size you remember it that is you are giving the dimension of the 2d uh, array which is actually similar to data frame dimension okay so data frame is having two dimension as i had already told you that it is having a two dimensional structure fine so that is the way you need to do okay so you see out here okay so none of the number has been crossed that particular range okay so this is the first second third fourth that i had taken so um, what we are done first second third fourth fifth this is the index has been created so the index has been taken and the list is having the abcd so abcd are the column this is a list data type actually so if you want to increase the number of rows and column that you can do as well uh, you are welcome to do so because these particular programs are very very um, means like uh, if you want to uh, do the things uh, afterwards you can do the further manipulation from it okay you can add the even numbers from the generated uh, array or from the generated data frame or somehow you can also do some other kind of data manipulation from it okay so i think it is clear so here the column index has been taken a b c d and the row index has been taken one uh, uh, first second third fourth fifth instead of zero one two three four five like that okay so that is the thing so afterwards if you think that i will uh, utilize uh, df dot sum out here df dot max df dot mean out here i can easily do it okay so what could i do is that print um, df has been already been given so i am doing what print i am giving out here print df dot um, uh, max okay so df dot max okay so like this I have done now let us see the maximum value so I am just giving you a message out here maximum value co column wise okay uh, maximum value okay value column wise 
okay column wise fine so that is the thing maximum value column wise so what is happening i have told you that axis 0 is actually the default that is actually the column and um, axis 1 is actually for the row so where i am doing maximum value column wise fine so that is the thing so now uh, i am doing what run module so how to use the function that's actually i am displaying uh, that that's actually i am showing you okay so now um, uh, this uh, let us see now how it appears okay so once it get um, executed then you will be able to understand so each time you execute the values in the random uh, random values are changing okay though even you are giving the same range or not that is not the thing so that depends upon the random seed generator in the system okay that's the thing so now you see out here so what is happening out here okay a is actually here it is 85 uh, that is a, a column is 85 b column because i have not given slash n over there that's why it has come over here just i am modifying the output and showing you and here just see 75 and here you see it is uh, 88 uh, yeah 88 and then 86 as well fine so now you see out here the, so what i will do uh, i will just give slash n okay slash n uh, out here so you can understand okay sl sorry not this one probably this one oh, wait a minute this one is not the thing just a minute uh, this is comma just a minute okay uh, <coughs> so the thing is that uh, df dot max i hope you understand so how to do this thing maximum value uh, column wise fine that you can understand easily uh, that you can understand easily and then slash and actually um, uh, this slash is having some problem here okay so the keys are creating a little problem that's the thing so that's that's what um, uh, i can show you later um, slash n is very easy to give uh, this is slash n yes actually the key is having problem that's the thing so this slash n i had given now now it will come in the not in the same line it will come in the different line so df dot max okay so therefore the, it is applicable in the normal value what you are taking okay in data frame in the form of dictionary now here the dictionary has been created by using the uh, data frame itself okay by the random number okay mm, uh, by using uh, the random number formation has been given and the data frame function has been used directly okay so no dictionary has been defined in as such okay you see out here first second third fourth fifth and it is showing you nicely uh, which one is the maximum okay slash and i don't think so it is python 3.6 it is functioning well okay anyway okay leave it okay df max it is fine it is correcting uh, it is actually a 88 and all it has come out here okay and then uh, what could you do is uh, slash and we will not give out here i will just do it i close it out down here and i'll give out here print here okay and then df dot max out here like this okay so let us run this particular program and then you will see out here how these things are being displayed okay similar thing same thing what is equal that is not a problem but when you are giving axis equals to one just i'm showing you the manipulation students what you need to do is that you need to do the practicals much of this one otherwise you afterwards you will find that if you are not doing practicing if you are not practicing regularly you will find that afterwards everything is looking same okay so no difference at all okay so that that is why i would like to uh, suggest you uh, to do the uh, to the um, uh, do the this thing what you call now it has coming appearing the 74 87 uh, 80 and uh, here also the 80 okay both are having the same thing but not of the time this is not the this is the thing none of the time um, um, uh, so uh, on none of the values are uh, none of the values are equal okay um, uh, okay none of the values are equal fine that is the thing so now what could you do is that you can use out here axis equals to one so axis equals to one what it does axis equals to one will give you the row wise uh, row wise uh, what do you call uh, row wise manipulation fine uh, row wise whenever you want to display the things that you can do it okay that is the thing hmm so now let's see 
how these things are being have been appearing all right so the output let it come so x is equals to 1 as i had told you this is uh, this has already been told how it is appearing it is appearing it in the row wise format okay row wise okay so now the output is coming you see out here the row wise it is taking 64 and then here it is 86 here it is 74 and then here it is 62 and here it is taken 87 okay so that is the thing so axis 1 whenever you are using that is actually you are doing it row wise and whenever you are doing the uh, axis 0 or if you are not mentioning anything it will be taken uh, it will be um, accessing um, column wise okay so th uh, that is the thing students okay so you need to work on it very nicely and you need to practice it okay so here today another style of creation i have shown you okay by um, uh, uh, using the data frame function and by mentioning the dimension out here that is the five columns sorry five rows and four columns and the, both the index has been taken row index and the column index as well so here i have used the only max you can use mean you can use count you can use sum you can use average whatever you like okay all right then that's all for today okay and you please do the practical that i must say again and again all right thank you